From the 1960s to the 1980s, Hazel Court was England's leading actress in the horror genre. She was referred to as a scream queen by her viewers due to her impeccable and impressive work on screen, specifically in the horror genre. Now, this video captures the interesting story of the horror movie icon and the highlights of her life up until her death. Now, before we get into this video, I found out that only a small percentage of people that watch the videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, hey, kindly consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Hazel's unusual journey to stardom. Now, like most actresses, Hazel discovered her passion for acting early on in her life. However, her focus was on completing her foundational studies before learning how to act professionally. She attended Boldmere School and Highclere College, where she studied drama at the Alexandra Theater and the Birmingham Repertory Theater, which is the longest established building-based theater in Britain, known globally for producing some of the best actors in Hollywood. Now, being in such an innovative and creative space was the right environment she needed to hone her craft and learn all that she needed to start acting on the big screen. She later began auditioning for roles and trying to build connections in the acting world. She had developed a fresh fire for acting, and all that was left was the right platform. Now, even though she was only a teen at the time, she was ready to begin her acting career. At the age of 16, Hazel met then-renowned film director Anthony Asquith in London. Now, this meeting ultimately launched her career. Anthony spotted her talent, decided to give her a shot to showcase what she was capable of. Next thing she knew, she was given a part to play in the 1944 British musical film Champagne Charlie. Her character appeared very briefly, but her impact was felt, so much so that she landed another role the following year. Now, it's surprising to many that Hazel won her first ever award just two years after she began acting. Her exceptional role as a crippled girl in the movie Carnival was what qualified her to win the British Critics Award in 1946. Her performance opened her up to an inflow of accolades and recognition internationally. She was quickly becoming a household name within such a short period of time, venturing into acting. Now, Hazel stood out from the rest of her colleagues with her unique style of acting. Her love for knowledge and self-improvement was what kept her on top of her game. Hazel as the Horror Queen Even though Hazel had spent years studying the art of acting in some of the best schools, she always wanted to learn more. For her, there was always a higher level of skill that she wanted to attain, and she was willing to become a student over and over again, even after years of acting. After several roles, she enrolled in the Rank Charm School, which was well known for its efforts to groom creatives for stardom. Now, upon the completion of her training, she received more prominent roles in several genres of movies from comedy to crime, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. But of all the movies that she played in, the ones that stood out the most were her horror performances. Yet there was just something about the way she embodied her horror roles that left her viewers in awe. Now, she also appeared in films like Ghost Ship, Holiday Camp, Bond Street, and Devil Girl from Mars. Within this period, Hazel got into a relationship with her fellow actor, who was as passionate as she was about acting. Dermot Walsh was an incredible actor as well, and their relationship eventually led to marriage. A few years later, they had their first child, Sally Walsh. Even though she was building a family, Hazel's career still continued to flourish. The role that took her career to the next level was her performance in the 1957 horror hammer film, The Curse of Frankenstein. Her character in this gore movie was that of Elizabeth Lavenza, and till today, this is said to be one of her best roles ever. Now, what most of her viewers didn't realize is that her daughter Sally also was in the movie. Through the blood splashing and screaming in the film, Hazel found herself enjoying the process of creating and portraying her horror character. Court appeared in The Premature Burial, in which she acted with her co-star, Ray Milan. Everyone was so impressed with her performance and the overall outcome of the film that she was selected to be the lead role in the 1963 film The Raven, in which she played with Peter Lorre. Now, Hazel did what she knew how to do best, and they produced an undeniably interesting movie. The last horror movie that she was in 
was The Mask of the Red Death in 1974. At the end of her work, she made history as the only actress who had acted with all of Hollywood's male horror stars. Now, Hazel starred in over 30 movies between the 60s and 70s, and even with her busy schedule, she still found time to nurture her other creative gifts. Hazel's Other Creative Endeavors Now, even though acting was the craft that she chose to be known for, Hazel was more than an actress. As her acting career was booming, she decided to fly to Italy to learn sculpting. And there was one thing that she was known for, it was her incessant pursuit of knowledge. The time she spent in Italy definitely paid off greatly because she was able to learn how to paint and sculpt perfectly. She got back to Britain as a professional sculptor and painter and was able to monetize that craft as well. She received tons of positive reviews for her work. Her art was said to be magnificent and exceptional. She became one of England's most accomplished sculptors at the time. Hazel Court in TV Series now, Hazel also built a high-profile career in U.S. TV through her appearances in several series. She had to travel frequently between North America and Britain due to the gravity of her workload. Somehow, she still managed to give excellent performances in all the movies and series that she starred in. Over the years, she appeared in several episodes of notable TV series like Bonanza, Dr. Kildare, Mission Impossible, Adventures in Paradise, and Burke's Law. She wrote a revealing autobiography. Most people who live iconic lives always feel the need to keep their stories alive through writing or in video form, and Hazel decided to write an autobiography after her retirement. Her intent was to show her viewers a side of her that they had never seen before. The decades that she spent on screen and the years before her fame came with many sacrifices and untold stories. Her autobiography was aimed at capturing her journey right from childhood in the West Midlands of England to Lake Tahoe. Now, how she built her portfolio and acquired fame from her career as a famous actress to an internationally acclaimed sculptor and artist. She opened up about what it was like to work for big names in the industry, the lessons that she learned, and the breakthroughs that she had. She even added some pictures that had never been seen by anyone but her family to the autobiography in a bid to capture her journey in its rawest form. Hazel's biography went on to give an emotional, honest, and clear overview of an English woman's life in Hollywood. On the 15th of April, 2008, Hazel Court died as a result of a heart attack. Her autobiography was released just a week after that. Hazel Court remains the England film star that revolutionized horror movies globally. So which of these facts about Hazel Court caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video right here in the series.